So our intent for this project was to create a camera stabilizing platform for more people who want to use, take video of action shots. So we're on our go. And over here we have currently the camera mounted onto a platform. So this is this is a, what's left of a, of a webcam yeah, with the front that you have a, screwed onto a, okay. a yeah, platform. On the platform. So you have a platform and you're holding it in your hand. Now move your hand back and forth so I can see. So, so you can see it's a you can platform. Probably disconnect this too. Yeah. So okay. that's a, like a platform. So whenever like a, I move my hand, I mean either direction, you can see the platform is keeping flat, and the camera on the top is like a pointing some yeah, fixed yeah fixed one fixed right. one point. Right. So it's only on two axis rotation. We control the pitch and yaw. Right. So let me so I can get the, the now you have the webcam displayed on the screen over there. So I'm going to get the, the display in the background as you torque it. Yeah. So you can see. So it generally keeps a level, but we do have problems with certain vibrations. Yep. That's, yep. Our yep. lower motor seems, I guess, somewhat oh. bearing since we've been testing it for a while. It's kind of loose. So there's some vibration on this, even when the output of a PWM is relatively stable. So you have a PWM algorithm going. It seems quite stable. It's not oscillating yeah. and, it's, and it's settling quite quickly. Mm -hmm. the, the response time is quite good. Yeah. We had problems with response time initially since to get really accurate angle readings. Uh, we kind of took a lot of samples with output from a gyro and a accelerometer and averaged them. Yeah. And averaged them. And, and that slows it down. That's a lot yeah, of calculation, yeah. yeah. It was maybe running at two times a second, which is why we had really jittery movement. So uh -huh. we reduced the sampling rate. Yeah, no sampling rate is two. So how long is it? How fast is it running now? Is it using tiny real time? Yeah. It's yeah. Using so it's running a real time kernel, yeah. which is astonishing. Yeah. And and so it's running. So it's doing the control loop at 100 hertz. Well, it seems quite responsive. Yeah. Right now it's. Uh, yeah. After we change the rate of the response time, like uh, right now. So that it's, increase, and then yeah. we adjusted the PIDs to make it respond accordingly too. That's very good. So point to the various pieces on here now. You have a controller down here. So yeah, we have a... Uh, so the board... The board. The microcontroller there. Yeah, we have a microcontroller here, a battery on the back, uh -huh. and we have two motors. One is control the pitch, one is control the roll. And we have a very, like, a, the two sensor on the platform to get the, the like, a two direction angle reading from the top like I mean and, and the sensors are what accelerometers or yeah. rate gyros this or? one is an accelerometer that one's the gyro oh actually this one is the gyro oh yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. that one is the 3x yeah, right away it's gyro yeah. yeah this one is 3x the yeah, accelerometer the yeah. and and how are you combining the readings mm -hmm. of those are you complementary uh, yeah I'm responsible for that uh, um, use uh, complementary filter yeah at first I use common filter but it seems too too complicated and sometimes it don't get it Good result. Uh, it's maybe due to uh, the, the lot, uh, lots of calculations. Uh huh. But this worked yeah. out. Yeah, but this yeah the complementary yeah, filter yeah, worked pretty is, well. Is performing pretty well. So, so okay. 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 Thank you.